Would you believe it? This is now brew number seven. And um, brew number seven is going to be a turbo apple and strawberry cider. And would you believe one of the things that's probably sort of held me up the most is potentially, I don't know if you're potentially, the lack of a 12 mil drill bit. Now, the reason for a 12 mil drill bit um, is to be able to sort of make your own hole in the lid of a cheapo five, five litre um, sort of water bottle. I wanted to do um, sort of turbo, I wanted to do turbo ciders that were easy to make, to use, you know, using your sort of existing materials as much as possible. Now, I do appreciate one of these grommets is perhaps not existing materials. We'll sort of just take a little step for that. But my first attempt at, uh, my first attempt at making these holes sort of turned out more like that and a bit like that, you know. Um, and my guess, the CO2 was leaking through the dodgy seal and not, um, not the hole um, and the bubbler. So this should be a perfect fit for one of these. Um, and, you know, we can sort of slip the bubbler straight in. This is following a recipe. So I'm gonna sort of put up a link. Um, and the recipe is from Moss Home and Garden. So thank you very much to them for this recipe. Um, I hope that this will sort of um, sort of improve on um, some of the my disasters of the past. Now, um, let's start. Let's have a look at the ingredients. We have apple juice and strawberry flavor drops, four tea bags, half a liter of water, and 300 milligrams of brewing sugar. Step one then is to get the tea going. So four tea bags, 500 ml of water. And we wanna bring that to the boil. First two liters of apple juice. Now we add some of the um, strawberry flavour drops. Three full pipettes worth. Just add a bit more apple juice to wash that through the funnel. Meanwhile, over here, my tea seems to be doing pretty good. So tea bags are for the tannin and um, four is a new one on me um, that um, I've seen one tea bag or no tea bags. Um, so slightly higher quantity than usual and 300 ml of Brewing sugar. So that looks good. We're now going to add this. Okay, that's gone a bit high. That's fine, because I'm gonna take some out for my hydrometer reading, which is next. Okay, my hydrometer reading needs to be, um, liquid needs to be around 20 degrees. Now it's 25 degrees at room temperature at the moment, so clearly um, that needs to come down a bit. But with the um, tea that we added um, and brewing sugar, yeah, that's going up 27 Sorry, degrees. I don't know that. Alexa, stop. So, yeah, that's going up. That's 27, 28 degrees. So we'll leave this for a little while and I'll do my hydrometer reading at the end. So what we have next, yeast. This is Lauvin EC118. Um, it's a wine yeast, a champagne yeast. So um, I've taken about half a packet I'm just going to pop that in there and just let that sink through. So I'll give that a minute. 
So while that's happening, I've cooled this down a little bit. 21.5 or so. Time for the hydrometer reading. Hydrometer reading is 1057, 1.057. Um, this is my new Wizzy top. And my bung, sorry, my bubbler goes straight in there. So I'm going to add a little bit more um, sanitizer to that once I've moved it to its destination. Otherwise, we're good to go.